lake where the enslaved people were purchased and also sold. And the bad part about it is, and very important, is that this is where families were separated and broken up. So your sister and your brother might be standing here or your uncle, your aunt, or your mom, and your mom might be sold to a different slave owner. And that was the most heartbreaking thing I've been told about the slave auction block. It was bad anyway, that anybody would be purchased as property the same way you might buy, you know, a shirt or a pair of pants. But this is history and it's important for you to know it so that we can respect it and the resilience of the enslaved people that were brought here against their will. And so education and knowledge is power. So the power is in now you understanding that somebody who's held in bondage is not a good thing. It's a horrible thing. And to never let it happen again anywhere ever. So anybody who would like to read, who likes to read? Okay, go ahead, you read it. Read loud. Okay. Um, enslaved Africans once sold here. African sla slavery in New Jersey began with early Euro 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 European settlement by 1766. Do you need help? Circa 800 captive ferry and two other nearby ferry landings in Africa. Approximately 24 million captured men, women, and children have marched to co coastal prisons. Survivors then endured the deplorable you're conditions. Skip, you're skipping lines. <laughs> deplorable <laughs> conditions um, from dehydration, right. drowning, su suicide, so and abuse. By 18,000, New Jersey. By 1800. Oh, 1800. New Jersey's enslaved African population exceeded 12,000. New Jersey was the last northern state to anticipate. Man man emancipate. Emancipate. Adopting. Adopting gradual abolition in 1804 and finally ratifying the 13th Amendment on January 23rd, 1866. Excellent. Very good. Very good.